I like Tuskegee much better because the emphasis was on teamwork and discipline. That was ingrained in us more than anything else, that you have to be part of a team. It was not about individual recognition. It was about if your comrade was suffering, you had to suffer along with him. If he were being hazed, you had to jump in and be hazed with him. Um, the teamwork and the discipline was the strong points to me of Tuskegee. Um, I miss it today. During the war, for as long as it was, African Americans with pride in themselves and in their country served to the best of their ability on the home front and on the battlefield, fighting racial biases and prejudices in as well as out of uniform. All that served during the war helped advance the cause of racial equality. One unit held in esteem toward the latter part of the war was the famed Tuskegee Airmen Group. The group consisted of African American pilots trained at the U.S. Army Air Force's Tuskegee, Alabama Air Base. They were trained for eventual distinguished duty in the Italian theater of war. One of those pilots was Milton Holmes, a 17-year-old African-American from Baltimore, Maryland. He graduated as a trained pilot at Tuskegee in 1945. Well, I lived in a segregated town called Turner Station in Baltimore, Maryland. And I was going to high school, and, and I was selling the African-American, Baltimore African-American newspapers, which I read ex extensively um, during the war, particularly starting in about 1940, I began selling the papers. I was a member of, I attended Dunbar High School, which was one of three uh, black high schools that were available to us in Baltimore, Maryland one on the east side, one on the west side, and the vocational school. Um, we had to travel a great distance to go to that school, about 13 miles, and pass other schools. So during the war, I was in high school, and I read a lot about what was going on in the war. After coming out of high school in February, I immediately went to Howard University, in Washington, D.C., um, which at that time was for strictly um, African Americans. Um, and after leaving uh, Howard University in August because I got ill, I worked in a defense plant, a uh, manufacturing company. And there, uh, as an African American, we had separate facilities, we had to work. On, on menial jobs. We were working on an assembly line um, building barrels for to haul oil. So we had um, a couple of race rides because people objected to our being there. But that's when I found out about an exam. I took an exam to join the ASTP, Army Specialized Training Program. And we were sent to Hampton Institute to be trained as engineers. There was about 86 of us there in the service. And that's how I first got involved in the war. But as a civilian, it was extremely interesting. 
I got a chance to learn of how the civilians were responding. You had a chance to experience how the women worked so well during the war, for the war effort. In the uh, defense plants, uh, the shipyards, building aircraft, they did heavy duty work. And because of their earnings, like they were doing, they became a good moving force for the country. I began to respect them a little more in terms of the type of work they could do because most of the time the fathers worked, the males worked, and the women stayed at home. But with the war effort, the women did a, a lot of work. They, uh, they did the riveting, they did the lifting, they did a lot of the heavy work, and they did a lot of skill work, they did the welding. So you could appreciate uh, their contribution they made to the war effort. And I began to see this show uh, every, uh, every day. When you joined the group, uh, where did you train? I trained at Tuskegee uh, Air Force Base in Tuskegee, Alabama. And therefore the name Tuskegee Airmen? Tus therefore the name Tuskegee Airmen. I particularly like that training. Having started off at the Army Specialized Training Program at Hampton, which emphasized academic skills. I like Tuskegee much better because the emphasis was on teamwork and discipline. That was ingrained in us more than anything else, that you have to be part of a team. It was not about individual recognition. It was about if your comrade was suffering, you had to suffer along with him. If he were being hazed, you had to jump in and be hazed with him. Uh, the teamwork and the discipline was a strong point to me of Tuskegee. Um, I miss it today. You just couldn't. I'm so excited. There was no way in the world I was going to miss going to that class. No way. <laughs> Milt, did you face any hazing outside of the military when you were home? <laughs> Milt, went in Tuskegee. What type of planes did you fly, and what were their <laughs> capabilities? I trained on that plane called a PT-13 which is like a, like a roller coaster in a, a great adventure. <laughs> it's a two-seater, open cockpit. Your arms can sit on the outside, two wings. And you start the plane by uh, turning the key on and go back out and pull the prop. And you pull the prop to start and get back in. And in those days, you would say to yourself, I may die anyhow, so I may as well get on up here and fly. <laughs> so, so you'd get up in that plane, and your instructor would have you to do the spins, the stalls. And, and you didn't care because uh, it was fun. It was fun, and appreciated the, idea, the fact that you could be up in the air flying and training. The school was rougher than flying. The, the, the school work, the academics were, were tremendously difficult. Because of the Battle of the Bulge, and the fact that uh, African Americans who were in the rear of the lines many a time were now suddenly on the front lines, improved their fighting capabilities. Because of that, do you believe that's the reason why the American military <laughs> decided to utilize coupled with the fact on about the front line? Coupled with the fact that nobody wants to die. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, um, I, I think people, uh, African Americans and whites, wanted to protect their country equally. And I, I think we all have a sense of loyalty. And I think people forget that. Um, African Americans feel strongly about th this country. Uh, we're not going anywhere else. We're not going to try to move anywhere else. So this is our country. And if there's going to be any fighting, we want to protect it, but we want a part of the power also.